What is up, everyone? Welcome to The Ripple Effect with Soria. I am your host, Armando Soria. And joining me today is a man of many hats. Call him the Lone Jedi. Call him, call him Mr. Spiffy Cleaning. <laughs> uh, I want to introduce everyone to my friend, Tony Sanchez. Tony, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, man? Thank you for uh, thank you for inviting me. I'm, I'm excited for for this for this uh, episode, and uh, you know I look forward to all, you know watching these episodes grow. Awesome, man. Yeah, no, it's uh, you know all I could say is uh, got a heart full of gratitude to be able to you know have you on as a guest and just to have the ability to be here at Mag One Media. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to my producer Alex Garcia. Alex, yeah. yo. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful studio. We're very fortunate to be here and uh and again just excited to have you on, buddy. So, for those of uh those of the listeners that don't know you, can you give us a quick introduction? Uh quick is going to be hard, oh. but uh <laughs> yeah, so uh Tony Sanchez, um I I've I've been doing I've been in the mortgage business for 20 something years. Um and uh, had some, you know, been through, been through it all. The, you know, the fun times, the bad times, and yeah. and here we are again. I wouldn't call now the bad times, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a uh, de- definitely different in the real estate mortgage industry. But um, about two years ago, I decided to uh, take the big step into entrepreneurship, and there you go. And uh, I, uh, cre- you know, I didn't create the business, but I, I uh, built my own business, and it's a trash bin cleaning company. It's called Spiffy Cleaning Services, and we're a curbside uh, trash bin cleaning company. We basically, my truck is a is a custom built tr- uh, trailer that awesome. pretty much cleans uh, cleans your trash bins and disinfects, sanitizes, and deodorizes them. So uh, that's that's kind of me in a in a quick little intro. Yeah, well, that, there's we'll add to that, and yeah. there, there's a, there's a lot more to dive into with you, man. And yeah. I'm I'm just uh, excited to have you. I'm, I'm proud of what you've been accomplishing. Thank uh, you. Tony and I. We met, I would say it was about two years ago as well. Yeah. Um, uh, it was at the, um, through the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you're also a director with the, uh, on the on the board with the Chamber here yeah. locally, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, you keep busy, buddy. You yeah. keep busy. No, I definitely try to stay busy. And, you know, um, like we were talking about off uh, off air is I, you know, you know I, I try to, uh, try to fill my cup, you know, and I try to want to network and, and, um, you know, when we, when I, I was born and raised here in Salinas and went away to Sacramento, moved away from Sacramento Mm -hmm. for a little bit, beautiful area, Roseville, Rockland area. And, um, you know, I was still trying to fill my cup and I didn't know what it was going to be. And, you know, it brought me back for a lot of different reasons, uh, back to my hometown of Mm -hmm. Salinas. And, um, and yeah, I started, you know, I joined, you know, that's where I met you at is at the Salinas Valley Chamber of Commerce. I think we uh, jumped on as ambassadors yeah. uh, at the at the same time, and then um, you know I like to say that I have a, a big mouth in a good way sometimes <laughs> I guess, but uh, it led me to uh, being uh, put onto the board of directors for the Salinas Valley Chamber of Commerce as well. So um, yeah, awesome. we can we, like I said we can dive deeper into the, all that. Yeah, no, ab- absolutely, man. I think uh, one thing that um, that I just want to start with, if you don't mind, is what stood out with me. Uh, you know what stood out from you to me is your branding yeah. man you're everywhere and more importantly than the presence is the consistency mm-hmm. can you talk a little bit about your branding and, and you could you know this could be i know you have mo- you know your hands in different sure. things yeah yeah uh, it could be re- regarding the and we will break i, yeah, I do yeah. want to hear more about the the trash bin cleaning yeah, yeah. uh but you know take it from there yeah so the branding for me was uh is you know i know i don't have any type of marketing or you know any type of background as far as education wise or anything mm. like that i just you know i just kind of i wouldn't say copied but i just looked at what people are doing right yeah. and i just wanted to do it for myself and so um one of the things that i uh, that i was involved with uh, with the previous mortgage company that i was with was i was um kind of a mentor to a lot of new green loan officers mm. and one of the biggest things that i always told them is is always be branded. Yeah. Always be branded. And it's always a conversation piece, you know? So, I mean, you know, anybody that you do business with should be doing business with you or at least know Mm. that you're in the business. Absolutely. And, and as far as, and as far as anything goes, I would always tell like the, my mentees, I guess, um, what I would, I would tell them like, like you have to brand yourself. Like if you were to look at a Pepsi, a Pepsi can yeah. and without the Pepsi Cola, you know, wording, mm-hmm. you will know that it's Pepsi. Right, you know, when you right. look at the Starbucks minus the, 
mermaid, I think it is. Mm -hmm. If you minus the mermaid, you know that that's a Starbucks. So you have to just brand yourself. When, so when people look at, you know, consumers look at your, your, your content or whatever, they have mm -hmm. to know who you are. And so that was my biggest thing for the longest time. And I started to brand myself as the, uh, you know, I'm a Star Wars nerd. And I know that uh, my boy Alex Garcia can, can, uh, yeah, yeah. can go with me on that one. But um, that's why I branded myself as the Lone Jedi, because, you know, I've seen nice. a lot of brandings going around and different things and, you know, different things. And I'm like, how can I do myself, you know, do myself a solid and, and brand myself yeah. and brand myself the Lone Jedi. And then, you know, with the with the spiffy, with the trash bin cleaning, I just knew that it was a new industry to the area. Yes. Um, new industry, period, but new industry to the area. And so I needed to get the branding out there. I needed to mm -hmm. let people know, like, get used to this logo because it's not going to be around just for a, a year or two. It's going to be around forever. That's it, man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, I, I um, like I said, it, it's just cool and and it's it's everywhere. Yeah. <clears throat> and what I what I want you to if you don't mind touching on is just again the, going back to the consistency of it, right? Because I feel like as as I mean, it could be related to anything. It could be related to a workout routine. It could be related to a diet. It could be related to to marketing campaigns. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like everyone. I shouldn't say everyone, but people tend to to start a project and they're motivated. They're you know they're they're all rah rah, but you know, a week later, two weeks later, a month later, two months later, mm -hmm. all of a sudden their, their, you know, social media posts, mm -hmm. uh, become non-existent. Yeah. The flame goes out. The flame goes yeah. out. Yeah. You cheat on your diet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, you, um, you know, all, all that, right. Yeah. So you know what I'm, what I'm touching on yeah. and what I've noticed from you since the minute that, or, you know, we started following each other on mm -hmm. social media and getting to know each other yeah. on a personal level and professional level you 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 inspire me and motivate me to stay consistent yeah because it seems like every morning when i wake up and going through my my, my morning yeah. routine yeah. the it's like i i go out i do my thing and then once i'm able to pick up yeah. my phone yeah i uh i see spiffy yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah that's one of the things is i think consistency is key you know when i try to build my relationships with just not my my clients for you know the spiffy but going back to the mortgage you know because yeah. I, again i i I have the mortgage hat, I have the entrepreneur, I have right. the spiffy. But one of the biggest things when it comes to the mortgages is having uh, the consistency. You know, when I interview, you know, because that's what sometimes as us loan officers do, we interview real estate agents because yeah. we want to earn their business. And we, mm -hmm. you know, likewise, we can re reciprocate and get, give back to them. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one of the biggest things that I learned over my career interviewing real estate agents is what's important to you as far as a loan officer. Yeah. And con consistency and communication is always is Absolutely. always there. So Absolutely. when it comes to consistency is like I knew that, you know, I needed to make sure I don't you know, I didn't hire I hired I, I hired a, a digital marketing company now for the spiffy. Mm -hmm. But. I was doing all the marketing myself. Like right. I, I get up early in the morning, like four thirty, five o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that, you know, that's shouldn't be part of my morning routine is, you know, lay in bed and make marketing material. But that's, <laughs> that's kind right. of, that's kind of been my thing is I, I, I sit there in bed before I get up and I just start posting stuff, creating stuff on Canva or whatever yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. But I'm, I'm creating that marketing. And I just remembered because I mean, going back to what you were saying is like, you know, you're just one person that, you know, I'm, I'm on your, on your, on your algorithm or whatever. I'm on your timeline mm -hmm. and I'm coming up right away. Right. That's right. what I want to come up on everybody's. Like, I mean, you know, not to take this the wrong way, but I want to be on everybody's top of mind when they wake up, yeah. you know, so, <laughs> right, right, right. so no, yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's... as far as anything goes, like, I just want to make sure I stay top of mind, you know, if it's, if yeah. it's, you know, and I do have multiple pages for all my businesses that I have. Yeah. You know, I, I touched on, you know, the Spiffy. So that's Spiffy. You know, I have Spiffy Cleaning Services, the yeah. Trash Bin Pressure Washing Company. Then I have my the, the mortgage, you know, uh, and I also involved in solar and, as well. Go. So, yeah, you know, that's there, right. there's, there's a lot of different things. So I make sure that I try to, you know, uh, at least once or twice a day. I know that the people say, you know, the, the professionals say you should probably post, you know, a couple times a day. Um, yeah. But um, I, I try to do it all myself and, and, yeah. um, it's, it's been pretty good for me. Yeah, no, that's, that's awesome, man. And, and yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, that you're involved with solar, yeah. solar power as well. Yeah. And who knows, man, the, you know, who knows what the, the Google wants and what the, what the meta wants, right. They mm. say two posts a week or, yeah. or no, I'm sorry, two posts, three posts a day. They yeah. say, uh, uh, three stories and every hour and yeah. post at noon. I think, the <laughs> I think the algorithm, I, I mean, I've talked to a lot of digital marketing people and I think they even said, you know, the algorithm is always changing. Yeah. You know, it's always, you know, it's, it's, it's learning from itself. So it's like, uh -oh. you know, so, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. 
No, that's awesome, man. And with the one thing that I also admire about you is um, in addition to the branding and putting the content out there. And and I mean, I think I even seen your TV commercial run, yeah, you know, yeah. going, going around here locally. Um, the other part to the whole brand awareness is the networking, right? Yeah, yeah. I see you at the chamber events when it's the chamber events. I see you out and about um, at the uh, MCAR, the mm-hmm. Monterey County Association of Realtors. Mm-hmm. I, I believe that's yeah, what. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it seems like uh, you know you're you're very in tune with the importance of relationships and network. Can you touch on on that? Yeah. So one of the one of the things that I did when when I came because I'm a hometown boy, you yeah. know, from Salinas, and when I came back. You know, there was a lot of my friends and families, you know, they, they all knew that I've been in the mortgage industry for forever. And, you know, if they had a question, they would, you know, ask me. But when I came back from from the Roseville, Sacramento area, I I definitely knew that I needed to make a big splash. Mm. And when I came back, so the company that I was working for before uh, was a retail bank called Big Valley Mortgage. Mm-hmm. And um when I came back, you know, I told them, I was like, Hey, you know, I'm going to be moving. They didn't like the idea that I was moving because right. I was really building my business out there in the yeah. area, but uh, they didn't like the idea too much, but they were, you know, full, you know, they were like, Hey, well, we support you support anyway. You. Yeah. So I, I kind of asked in a way, and I was like, but I need your guys money support too. Like yeah, I want to make a big, yeah. I want to make a big splash. So, you know, we got an office and, and uh, had a grand opening and things like that. So yeah. um, that was the biggest thing is just making sure that I continue to b- make a big splash, mm-hmm. but having those waves continue to keep on going. Like, I just don't want to make a big splash and let the waves settle. Yeah. You know, I'm going to continue making waves. And, and you know, like you you touched on as far as MCAR, um, again, me, me and my big mouth, I, um, <laughs> you know, I come from Placer County Association of Realtors out there, mm-hmm. uh, Sacramento County, uh, Association of Realtors out there, being a part of as an affiliate out there. I noticed that there was a lot of events happening, a lot of marketing meetings happening, a lot yeah. of just a lot going on, which is a big metro area. Right. Uh, compared to Salinas is is not, or at least Monterey County. Right. And so when I joined as an affiliate to, to MCAR, it was uh, it was kind of like crickets. Like I was like, what's going on? And so yeah. I, you know, talking to to the staff of MCAR mm-hmm. and the CEO, and. And it came to be like where I was like, why don't we have marketing meetings before tour or why don't we have this or why don't we have, you mm-hmm. know, networking events? Mm-hmm. And so I took what I learned from from over there and in Placer County and Sacramento County and I wanted to bring it back. And I can't take full yeah. credit, you know, the staff and everybody that's helped me helped help team effort, uh, team effort yeah. for sure. But uh, it was it was because of me and my big mouth and they're like, hey, Tony, <laughs> by the way. You're also the affiliate chair uh, for all the affiliates <laughs> now, so go. I'm like, yay! So you know, I, you know, and it's another hat that I have, and and uh, and yeah, I think it's just it's kind of it's just like I said, it's kind of the waves, you know. And I'm I'm going to continue making splashes, and yeah. I'm going to make new splashes and make new raves, and yeah. kind of like the ripple effect. Hey, that's what it is, right? <laughs> it's the ripple effect, right? Yeah. Um, and that, that wasn't that wasn't planned. I'm, I, I, was, I kind of just went. We, we, we were rehearsing right? off camera. Yeah. 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 No, that that's awesome, man. And and to that point, I mean, it it's um, it's noticeable, and and um, you know, your position, you positioned yourself in the right way. Just um, you know, I, I, obviously, we have a personal relationship. We we speak pretty regularly, like mm-hmm. almost every other day or so. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and it's pretty cool, just because uh, you know, I see what you're doing. You're, the way that you position yourself in, um, in in all aspects of the different companies that you that you're working on mm-hmm. and doing. Um, you're surrounding yourself with the right people. Um, so the associations, your, 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 your circle, your tribe, yeah. your associations. Yeah. And, uh, and I just think that that's, uh, that's pretty awesome, man. Um, so tell us a little bit about Spiffy, Spiffy cleaning, cause it's such a, it's such a unique business and, yeah. uh, and I'm, I'm a, I'm a happy customer, <laughs> <laughs> so I know about it. But for those of, uh, those of uh, the, the folks watching, and, and or listening to us, uh, trash bin cleaning. What in the world is going on with that? Yeah, so um, I, like I said, I didn't come up with the idea. I wish, you know, a lot of neighbors, customers come out and they're like, this is a great invention. You're a good job. <laughs> I'm like, I wish I came up with this invention. But, you know, um, it was during the uh, the P word, uh, mm-hmm. the pandemic era. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. um, and I basically, uh, you know, my kids were always, you know, showing me these, these TikToks. And I was yeah. like, what the hell is a TikTok? Like, you know, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty up with everything with social media and things like that. Yeah. But I thought TikTok was more of like the dancing, like, you know, the, the, you yeah. know. and so I was yeah. just like, you know, yeah. so they would show me all these funny little things and I'm like, 
all right, let me get on. Cause they would always tell me like, get on TikTok. And I was like, all right. Yep. So I got on TikTok and you know, the algorithm, I guess, or how the, uh, that yep. goes is whatever you search for, whatever you're looking at, that's what continues to come up. Mm. So what was coming up for me was personal development, nice. uh, being your own business, be yeah. your own boss, be, yeah. you know, mortgage, real estate and all these different things. And one of these, you know, TikToks came up and it was a, a trash bin cleaning, you know, um, machine. And I was like, what the hell is that? Like, yeah. that looks pretty, you know, it caught my eye right away. And, and it was the company that manufactures them in Florida. Um, big shout out to uh, to them, Sparkling Bins. And mm-hmm. um, and uh, they, uh, I, I got on the phone almost like I think, I, I want to say instantly, I called yeah. them up and I was like, I want to know more. Their marketing worked. And um, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I, I basically jumped in and it, I mean, I think um, they even mentioned to me, my sales rep from over there, she was like, you were like ready to write a check right away. And, uh, I did. And I, you know, mm-hmm. during the, because of the pandemic and the shortage of all the parts and things like that, right. I had to wait. So, uh, I like to call myself, I've been saying this a lot lately is, you know, I, I'm really, really the most impatient, patient person. Yeah. And, yeah, um, I, I say yes. As an I agree. Yeah. With, with, and so, <laughs> for myself, right, yeah. <laughs> and so I, um, you know, I had to wait, but I started branding and marketing it right away. And I knew that I was already in the house cause I was still living in Roseville or mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Rockland. And, um, and I knew that I started, had to start branding. And so I built, I created the Facebook page. I created, um, the Instagram. And so I started creating videos of taking stuff from the other companies, which with their permission. Right, right, right. And of course. And, yeah. and, um, I think I even saw Alex at, uh, at the Rodeo from one year and I had, I said like, Hey, I need your help. And he was like, social media is the way to go. Just nice. do social media. So, yeah. you know, thanks Alex for that. But, uh, yeah, I definitely, you know, the, 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 the spiffy thing is, 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 a it's a trash bin cleaning company. Like I said before, is we're a curbside company. Um, we use our own water. Um, we, we contain all the dirty water. So all that stuff that if anybody has any, you know, everybody has a trash bin at home, yeah. you know, at least everybody should. Right, right, right. And, uh, you know, you have your recycle bin, your, your yard waste and your, your, your trash bin. Yeah. And, um, you know, it gets kind of smelly and stinky. I mean, a lot of stuff when the bag breaks or yeah. whatever, it, whatever mm-hmm. it is, or, you know, now with the, the new laws passing with, you have to put your food compost into the yard waste. Not a lot of people are following those rules, but there is a lot of people that are. Right. And so those, I can tell you, I wouldn't say that those are my biggest customers, but um, they've even asked me, can I come on a weekly basis? And I'm mm-hmm. not set up yet for, for to come out a weekly basis. Yeah. But um, we, come, we come out the same day as trash pickup day. So we, of course they have to be empty. And um, my machine goes to, you know, I can turn up the temperature as, as, as hot as I want it to be, yeah. but yeah. I kind of run it anywhere between 200 and 220 degree temperature wow. water. Nice. And so it's high, you know, it's high pressure, hot water. Um, so it's it's killing and disinfecting some stuff, and then we we ended off with a, a deodorizer um, that nice. kind of just keeps the smell, you know, until the next visit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's it smells pretty good. I yeah, tell you what, yeah. I mean, uh, I got some dirty bins, right. and uh, <laughs> and I, I, every time you roll up, it's like the ice cream man. I'm right. like, yeah, make us some clean bins. It's I'm awesome. actually, you know, speaking on that, I actually, you know, because I'm always about marketing. I'm always like, even yeah. if it's cheesy, I, you know, I'm <laughs> right. a, I'm a dad too, so I, uh, you know, have my little good old dad jokes. Yeah, but I've <laughs> right, even right, mentioned right, right. I. I was, you know, I think we were all on our phones, you know, at home one day and I was like, idea. And they're like, what's your idea now? You know? And, um, and I was like, what if I drive around in my truck, my, my spiffy truck and play like ice cream music? Like, like (laughs) it sounds like the ice cream man, you know, and, and have people come running out wanting their bins clean. So, (laughs) but you know, that's, uh, that's, that's later on, I guess. And, and, and with that, I mean, I'm sure that does happen where you pull up to your customer's home and like the ice cream man sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. Uh, you get the neighbors starting to kind of peek their heads out yeah. when they see this, this, I mean, it, this, 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 it's a trailer right now, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a trailer, yeah. This thing's beautiful. It's wrapped. It's well, very well branded. Yeah. It has arms like a, like a, like, like a trash a, hauler. Like a trash yeah. hauler. Yeah. And it comes up, it picks up the can and it just flips it upside down. Oops. Oops. Sorry, spilling some water yeah. there. But it's, it's pretty, you know, noticeable, I guess yeah, you could say. Yeah. So it gets a lot of attention. Yeah. And it's a, you know, it's a, it's a pressure washer. So it's a, you know, the Honda engine and, you know, the heater going, so yeah. it, it's not too loud, but right, it right. gets people's attentions, you know, yeah, yeah, it's not a nuisance or anything, yeah. but uh, it gets people's attention. And, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I used to call them like nosy neighbors, but those nosy neighbors are end up signing up, you know, because they're like, <laughs> you know, what is that? But yeah, yeah, you know, it is, it's, it's a, it's a great invention. And like I said, I mean, I, from what I understand, um, that we didn't originate it here in the United States. It actually, it's big in Europe for years. It's been like that for, you know, wow. I don't think it's like what we have today maybe, right, but right. you know, uh, it's evolved, you know, the way sure. it looks, but um, 
Yeah, it's a it's a great business. You know, I've, it's I think this March was my first year anniversary. Awesome, congratulations! Um, so, yeah, we hit the one year, uh, you know, mark yeah. and. And, uh, you know, my, the plan for this one has always been to have a fleet. You know, I mm-hmm. want to have a fleet and, um, you know, multiple trucks, you know, multiple trailers, trucks. And, you know, yeah. there's there's even a, a truck that's on my uh, on my uh, on my not my to do list, but my my wish board or my dream board, yeah. my vision board. I'm vision sorry. Board, yep. And uh, it's the uh, it's the it's a big dollar t- ticket amount, but it's it actually cleans. It actually picks up dumpsters as Holy well. Yeah. So it actually picks up the dumpsters just like how it picks up the smaller bins. Mm-hmm. Um, but it pressure washes the same thing with hot yeah. water and, and high and, pressure. And, and currently you you do have the, so, you know, the just plug it, man. You do currently have the capacity to clean dumpsters. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have, we have the capacity to clean just, not just your residential bins, but also, yeah. you know, also commercial sized dumpsters, um, your, your two yard, four yard, six yard, 10 yard, whatever. Uh, we can, we can definitely do the, the same. And, you know, a lot of our, you know, our biggest clients are apartment complexes, condos, mm. um, and, uh, and yeah. So anybody that has a dumpster or anything like that, we also, we also do the same thing. Yeah. That's a, that's a wide market. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a lot. There's that's a lot awesome. Of that's great, man. So how do you find balance, hmm. you know, between all the different hats, all the different businesses? And it sounds like, I mean, and I like it, right? Uh, but it, but you have a very um, uh, uh, aggressive plan. You want to you want to grow. You're not, yeah. you know, you want to pedal to the floor, right? You yeah. want, you, you know, you got big dreams and big aspirations, which are which are awesome. Right. How do you find balance between you know everything else? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. In a, in, a, in a quick answer, I don't know. Hey. I because I, I, I don't think I found it yet. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I think um, I think I just uh, I want to do so much. You know, I just want to do so much. And I know that there's a saying for it when you have. Uh, I don't want to butcher the the saying, but it's when you want to do so much and you get your hand you get your your hand in different pots. Yeah. And I know that like especially like in the mortgage or real estate. You know, this, yeah, you can do it part time. Mm-hmm. You know, you can be in as a referral partner kind of deal, but right. to really, really get the full, I don't know, benefits, but the full, you know, the full big picture of it, you got to be a full time, you know, loan officer. You yeah. got to be a, be a, a full time real estate agent. Um, yeah. But like I said, not to knock the people that are doing it part time. Like right. if it's working for you, then it's, that's great. Absolutely. But not for me. And mm-hmm. so, I mean, there's people that when I started the, the Spiffy, they were like, Oh, uh, you know, when's the retirement party for the mortgage business for you? And I'm like, I'm not retiring. And so (laughs) I think, you know, to answer your question is, is I don't, I, I, I think I'm playing it day by day as far as the balance that I'm, that I'm trying to figure out. So I'm still trying to figure it out. Like, you know, I I have these big dreams and goals for, for Spiffy. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, one of my, one of my biggest goals for Spiffy was in, in the first, uh, in the first four years you know, on my business plan that I had yeah. created was in the first four years, I wanted to be in the Tri-County area. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be in the Santa Cruz County. I wanted to be Santa B- San Benito County and the Monterey County. Right. And I did it in three months. <laughs> and so, um, you know, rule number one um, from the company that I bought the ma- my machine from, you know, um, they kind of set you up, you know, train yeah, you, yeah, and yeah. Sh- you know, show you, you know, because they've been doing it for so long. Right. So um, rule number one was, he, you know, John Conway from Sparkling Benz, he said, do not go out 10 miles out of your, you know, 10 mile radius, stay within 10 mile radius. I said, yeah, okay, John. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and day one, I was in Santa Cruz. I picked up a big, <laughs> I, I picked up a big account in Santa Cruz and, uh, you know, just started marketing to yeah. all the different areas. And yeah. so, so it's about, a. He said stay within 10 and you're really within like a 30 mile radius currently, more or less. Uh, a little bit more because I've even touched parts of Gilroy as well. Oh, so yeah. again, I, it's, I guess I'm breaking another rule. Number two is, you know, learn to say no. And I, <laughs> and I haven't learned that. It, it's I, hard. It's, I, um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't learned that because, uh, you know, again, you know, I, yeah, I just haven't learned that. I, there's, there's stuff that I'm, I know that I'm, I'm, I'm breaking rules, but I'm not a rule breaker, but I guess, you know, I, I'm that walk in that gray line. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a, it's a thin line. I guess you could say yeah. it's a delicate balance. Um, and quite honestly, if you had the answer, you know, if you knew the answer, how yeah. to balance work yeah. life and entrepreneurship and yeah. family and yeah. everything else, then I don't think you'd be here with me right yeah, now. Right? No, I, I, <laughs> and I think when it comes to like the family, you know, family, I think one on your, on your last ap- episode, um, the, the last guest, Miguel, he mentioned about family first, like, mm-hmm. and that's always going to be, you know, yeah. family is always going to come first. And, and I think, you know, the family is always going to see how, you know, especially your kids, they're always going to 
see how hard dad worked, how hard yeah. mom worked. Yeah. And, you know, so as long as you make the time, you know, make the time for your family. But again, they have to understand, too, like dad has to work like yeah. dad has, you know, you know, so. So, yeah, finding that time, finding that finding that balance. And I think I'm doing pretty good. I think uh, my, my kids, my my fiance, I think they can all agree like, you know, like. You know, I think he's doing pretty good, but there's, you know, there's some times where I do have sure. my phone, you know, in bed or on the couch when it's supposed to be yeah. family time. Yeah. And, yeah. but, um, you know, I, I just, my mind does not stop. And that's the reason why I think I have my, my hand in so many different things. Mm -hmm. Um, I haven't, I haven't, uh, the flame, the flame is still very there, much there. Yeah. And so, you know, like I said, you know, the mortgage, I'm not ready to step away from the mortgage. I love what I do. I love, mm -hmm. you know, I love educating customers and clients, you know, when it comes awesome. to first time home buyers, even people that have done it that didn't know something before, mm -hmm. you know, um, growing this, but the dream for growing spiffy cleaning services. I mean, this is just one little, I want to say call it little, I don't want to like d display it, but this is one thing for spiffy cleaning services, like just the trash bin cleaning. Like I have so much more goals for, for this one to grow and, and get bigger. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I, I'm big on, 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 uh, on the, on branding. And I've even, if you check out my social media, you'll see every once in a while, I put the monopoly guy Yeah. because yeah. I do feel like, you know, I know that, you know, the monopoly guy, he had a monopoly, you know, on right, everything, right, right, you know, right. on the whole board, but, I do want the monopoly and I mm -hmm. do want, not that, not that I'm saying, you know, in a bad way, but right, I right, do right, want right. it all. I, yeah. I do want it all. And I've been there before where, you know, um, I've gotten laid off from a company before because mm -hmm. of whatever reason. And so I think that is where it really kind of sparked it, where, like, where it comes to where like, I got to have multiple streams of income. I can't just depend on one income. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, and I think that's what it is. You know, I, I, I try to kind of bring everything all together, like the solar, you know, the, the mortgage, the spiffy, like, it's you know, a one stop shop. It's like a one stop <laughs> shop, you know, but, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, one thing I was going to kind of touch on was, you know, the entrepreneur mindset that I've had, I think, I've had that for, you know, since I was, you know, a lot of people say this, like as a, as a young kid, but I did because, you know, my grandparents lived in, uh, in, in the outskirts of Salinas in mm -hmm. a community called Las Palmas Ranch. And, um, I, uh, my grandfather one day, he was like, Hey, go cut the grass, you know? And I'm like, okay. You know, yeah. he was like, and I'll give you a few bucks. And so I did that. And I'm like, got paid, you know, I'm like, Oh, this is, this is cool. Like I got paid it, you know, as a chore, mm -hmm. but you know, I got paid. And then he got his two neighbors on, on each side of him. He's like, Hey, this is my grandson. He's going to cut your grass. Just give him a few bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, so I had three customers cutting grass and, you know, I'm like, all right, cool. So that, you know, the, if anybody knows the, the, the community of Las Palmas Ranch, there's quite a bit of houses. Yeah. So I think my marketing thing kind of started <laughs> there in. because, you know, I jumped on, you know, the computer and, uh, I made off of Word doc. I think I made like uh, <laughs> a, flyer. A, a flyer. Yeah, nice. And I put it on, you know, because they had these, you know, in that community, they have the uh, the post box, the post, uh, the mailboxes that mm -hmm. have, you know, everybody's mailbox in one central right. area. I would just put them on all the, I mean, I rode my bike to all the different post and I just put them <laughs> on there, you know. I would even cover the lost my cat or missing cat, you know, or missing dog. <laughs> I would cover those ones and I would put mine on there and I was like, I want mine to be, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then that monopoly thing started back yeah. then. But um, that's where I really kind of, you know, started my my, my business. And even through, I mean, I, I, I don't know if I can get in trouble saying this, but, uh, <laughs> you know, during, I think it was middle school, middle school, I think, and even probably maybe parts of sixth grade in elementary, I sold candy. Mm. And I, you know, I'd buy candy, you know, buy candy bars and, you know, and, uh, and I would go sell them and I would flip them basically. <laughs> I would start <laughs> flip, flip, flipping candy, bars, huh? <laughs> you know, I would buy them for 25 cents, 50 cents, whatever. And I would flip them. And, and so I've always kind of had that mentality and, you know, yeah. growing up as an adult, like, you know, as a father, you know, I, my, one of my favorite shows was Shark Tank. And mm. I was like, oh, I thought about that before, too. <laughs> you know, and, and really legit, you know, legitimately, like yeah. thinking like, I thought about that, like, you know. And so um, that's why when it brings me to, you know, the spiffy thing, I was like, I seen it. I knew I was moving back to the Monterey County. I did a quick little Google search, seeing if anybody was doing it. And I was like, I'm the only one doing it. Mm. And so that's why I just I, I knew that that was going to be my 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 idea for the area. You know, mm -hmm. it's not I didn't create the idea, but, you know, my Uber, my Netflix, my, you know, yeah. everything, you know, I yeah. just I, I didn't want to miss that train. Right. And so that's why I just I really, really jumped into it. Yeah. Uh, I, two, two, two things came to mind. Um, I'll save this one because I think this is a good one for for after this question. Um, there's a lot of people that sit on the fence. Right. Um, waiting for the right time. 
right? Um, <clears throat> obviously, we're still you and I both. We talk about this all the time. We're you know we're 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 in the process. We're in the journey where we're we have our businesses. We're growing them. They're growing. We're 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 going through it. Yeah. Right. We're not established guys. That's had you know. 10 plus years and yeah. that kind of thing. Right. So we're learning as we go. There's a lot, you know, a lot there, but <clears throat> let me ask you, um, if someone's listening and, and thinking about it, what would you say to them? If someone's sitting there thinking, you know what, I, I really want to start this business, whatever it is, you know, uh, selling widgets or whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. Uh, what would, what would you say? You know, it's, it's, thank you for that, that because that puts me on a different, you know, at least to my mind is it puts me on, you know, I've, I've heard, that question get asked to millionaires, multimillionaires. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's a multimillion dollar question, you know, um, to, and to answer it, I feel honored because, you know, I can say that I'm an entrepreneur and I'm a new entrepreneur, new business owner, but to answer your question, I would just say, just do it, you know, um, just do it because, you know, don't think about it too much. I've talked to some people, you know, new, old, you know, it just, there a lot of people think that oh, I'm too, you know, not me personally, but uh, they <laughs> think I'm too old. It's too, I'm, I'm already 40 something years old. I, it's too mm-hmm. late, you know, but it's never too late, you know. Right. And, I, and I always use this analogy and I'm, I hope I'm doing it, getting it right, you know. But look at KFC, you know, the Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think he didn't come out with the recipe until he was like 80 something years old or 90 years old. So, right. you know, the colonel. Um, the colonel. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's never too late. You know, there's, right. you know, one of the biggest thing I think is talking, you know, learning about never too late was Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary V. Yeah. You know, uh, he's always yeah. been about, you know, it's never too late, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And so, um, yeah, no, I, I think, uh, you know, circle back at your, to answer your question, just do it. You know, don't really think, I mean, of course you don't want to just throw money at the wall and just right. hope it sticks. You want to do a little bit of research, but don't, don't have that research go from, you know, one week to six years. Yeah, the the paralysis by analysis yeah, yeah, sort of yeah. thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I know personally that um, I I probably stood at the edge, you know, the edge of that line mm-hmm. for for I think it was about five years yeah, yeah. or so. Yeah. And even then, that's a short amount of time yeah. before I took the jump. Mm-hmm. And um, and you know. Uh, you got to cut out the noise, do what's best for you and make sure that, of course, you know, if you're going to take the risk, you, you accept the, you know, what may or may not come and, and all that good stuff. So, and, and I think just, you have to be passionate too. I mean, to kind of play on a more add on to that, you got to be passionate about what you're going to do, like what you're going to mm-hmm. sell, what you're going to offer. Because if you're not, it's not going it, to, it'll, it'll show, you know, like mm-hmm. I mean, that takes me back to the, you know, the mortgage. If I'm talking to a client, I'm having a bad day and I'm on the phone or I'm in front of a client, like, it, it shows when you have a bad day, you know, yeah. like it comes off. And so when you're going to get into the business, like be passionate about it. And that's why, you know, I, I can honestly say, sit here and say that I'm not passionate about du- jumping into dumpsters and cleaning <laughs> and cleaning nasty bins. I'm not yeah. passionate about that, yeah. but I'm passionate about the business. Mm-hmm. I do love the before and afters. Yeah. I do love the, the, you know, the text messages or the calls from customers saying, hey, what a great job you did on my loan or, hey, I'm going to refer you to this. You know, yeah. those are the biggest compliments that you can get. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. but I, I think, yeah, it's just it all comes down to being passionate about what you do. And I think with yours, you know, like you said, we talk about, you know, we talk on a, uh, every other day or on a daily is, you know, you know, I think with yours is, you know, with your business is that's why I told you I was going to always hold you accountable is because mm-hmm. of, you know, when you walked into customers, you know, what do you call them? Uh, like customers houses or whatever it is. Yeah. And they were like, Oh, you're the owner. You're here. Like I, that's what I was like, man, if you get that type of response back from your cust, you know, your clients, <laughs> your customers, right. and they see that you're here and you're there, like don't ever stop doing that because I think the customers like to see the face of the company, mm-hmm. you know, cause we're going to always be the face of the company. And so, um, yeah, I, I think that's you know that's that's key. That's awesome. the The question that I that I had kind of written down here as you were talking about you know all the things that you're involved with, the the passion, the you know the aggressiveness, the mindset, the you know the go getter kind mm-hmm. of thing. Um, let me ask you about, and this might be a little deep, <laughs> but let me ask you about your intention, the intention, the why, why, mm-hmm. you know what what's the what's what's the purpose what's the goal you know um what's the drive what's, what's the, the drive what's, what's the, the what's, what's, the what's fueling that fire yeah. that you feel i think um you know the the business is to make you know of course we want to make money 
Mm. And I think I'm learning that, you know, I, I'm learning a lot in the past couple of weeks, past couple of months, you know, and I think, you know, I was, you know, before uh, off air, I was discussing uh, with somebody here is, is I was, I've always been trying to fill my cup and I didn't know what my, mm. what it was, you know, I would fill it up with something and I'm like, mm, yeah, okay, that's good. You know, that, that, you know, that paid this, this month bill or whatever it was, right, right. but it was just trying to fill up the cup. And I think, um, you know, when I joined the chamber of commerce, um, I felt like, well, I'm going to do something with my community, with my city, because I love my city, you yeah. know, and but it, not to say that, it, you know, not to downplay or anything, but it's not it just wasn't feeling everything like I, I like what I'm doing, but there was still something missing. And and as far as as far as like, what's my drive? Like, it's to support my family and to make sure that my family never has to, you know, to to struggle, mm. you know, and to generations to come. Like, I want this spiffy cleaning services. I do want it to to grow and and, you know, have multi-generation type thing, mm. um, you know, um, to, yeah, you know, to live the lifestyle. I don't have a, a lavish lifestyle, you know, but um, I want to be able to just not worry about it, you know. So mm. um, the money, the family is always good things. But, you know, what I'm learning, too, is doing good things for good for, for people mm -hmm. and, 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 and volunteering your time for, for different things. Um, it actually is really good. You know, I've, I've been to ribbon cuttings for the chamber. Right. And talking to somebody, uh, you know, and, you know, someone's been asking me that question like, hey, what's, you know, what's the you know market look like for real estate or how spiffy going? And just talking to people and getting to know other people, other businesses and kind of, you know, sh responding to them as far as like what I've gone through as a mm -hmm. business owner. And so if I could say something that's helped somebody else, that's perfect. That's great. Yeah. So, again, to circle back at your, on, on, on your question is... Um, is just to do more. You know, I just want to mm -hmm. do more. I mean, what's my drive is, you know, of course, fueling for the family, you know, yeah. financially and everything. But I just want to, I don't think it's, I don't think I've got the right answer for you, like the total, right, you know, there's part of the answer. But I think there's something bigger that's going to be happening uh, for myself and for my family and mm -hmm. for my name. Um, I think there's something, something bigger that's about to happen. And I think maybe we can touch on, on that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I'm kind of foreshadowing a little bit and I was kind of, um, leading the horse, right, yeah. <laughs> if you will. Yeah. So you and I had this conversation and, um, you know, we've, we've had it actually, it's kind of funny. I think we had it maybe a year ago or, or, or long, you know, longer than that. Mm -hmm. And that was, um, you know, when we both came back, we both, we were both products of 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 our hometown mm -hmm. and we both uh you know through life's journeys we mm -hmm. ended up and not, not that we've known each other all our lives right, or anything, yeah. but you know we we left we came back we've done things you know um i i came back and when you asked me about coming back and opening the business i think uh we had a very similar response to one another and that was that when i came back what I knew I wanted to do personally was make sure that if I'm coming back, I wanted to take all the experience that I had gathered while I was working in restoration and property mitigation yeah. um, out of Houston. I wanted to take all my experience traveling the country after hurricanes, doing all this mm -hmm. stuff that I used to do. I wanted to bring all that experience back here and, and offer it to our community. And beyond that, you know, I knew that, by having the successful business, it was going to open up the doors to allow me to then give back to my community. Mm -hmm. uh, when I grew up, Salinas wasn't necessarily the, you know, mm, yeah, the, yeah. the cream of the crop right. place to be. No pun intended. Uh, there was a, yeah, uh, the salad bowl for yeah. those of you guys that don't know. Um, we, we, you know, there was violence there, you know, there was all, all kinds of stuff going on in the nineties and, uh, showing my age a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so I knew coming back, I, I have uh, I have two daughters, beautiful wife. If we were coming back, I knew that I had to do what I could to cultivate a better, a better community mm -hmm. and give back and actually make a difference. I admire Mag One Media, for example. I admire other local businesses that I hope to connect with and bring them in here mm -hmm. um, and to talk about because of the impact that they've made in this community. And so when you and I were talking about this, not to make it about me, but the reason I bring it up is because you had the exact same idea behind, you know, behind the purpose, right. if you will. Yeah. And um, yeah, absolutely. As a business, of course, we want to make money. That's, you know, that's, yeah. 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 But it's, it's because that's going to then allow us to have the means to make the difference that we want to make. Yeah. And, 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 you know, 
leave our footprint and establish that legacy with the name, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. There's a particular name here in Salinas that, you know, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. that owns downtown or, right. you know, yeah. you see his buildings and yeah. everywhere, right? They, yeah. they uh, build parks, they do this and that, right? Yeah. Talking about tailors, right? Mm -hmm. And, and anyway, so kind of taking it a little further, but the point is, is, um, you and I, we, we connected and then we, we developed a relationship because we were, we are both after that, that thing that, that we know what fills our cup. Right. right. And that is the philanthropy that comes with being an entrepreneur mm -hmm. in my humble opinion. And I think you and I share this sentiment is we have a responsibility as entrepreneurs to do what we can to give back and to basically, if you're an entrepreneur, there should be there should be this philanthropic drive behind it. Yeah. Right. I mean, I didn't, you know, I don't want to like right. put people out, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I'm just, that's just yeah. my opinion. Right. Yeah. Um, but, um, it's, it's, it's pretty cool to, to share that with you. Mm -hmm. And, um, so now I guess I'm going to just put it out there. This is really exciting. Uh, so Tony, uh, another hat that he's decided to, to crown himself with, or that I actually nominated mm -hmm. him is uh, we, as uh, some of you may or may not know, I'm involved with the with the uh, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society here in Monterey Bay mm -hmm. uh, through the campaign called Visionary of the Year. This is actually how I really connected with Mag One Media and Alex because we were both candidates in the same class. Mm -hmm. He smoked me, by yeah. the way. <laughs> but, uh, but we were working together for the common goal. Yeah. And between eight candidates during our year, we were able to raise over $350,000 that went mm -hmm. towards um, research, uh, and, and, you know, the fight against blood cancer. Yeah. And that's actually how I met my previous guest or not, not how I met, but that's how I really, anyway, th those relationships yeah. are, are amazing. Yeah. And I was really excited. You joined us at, we had our gala, uh, just a few weeks ago mm -hmm. and you came out and right after the gala, you approached me and said, Hey, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I, I definitely was, you know, I knew it was for a good cause and, and, uh, and I just went as a guest, like you, you invited me and, and my fiance Olivia. And so we were like, hey, let's get, you know, get get fancied up a little bit and yeah. go out for a nice night with some friends and some dinner, get some drinks. And I had no idea that what it was going to do to to impact like my, you know, my next step. Yeah. And so, you know, you know, you hear the um, you know, you hear the uh, the stories, you hear, you know, the, 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 the kids that are there, the you know, everybody that's impacted by by, uh, by cancer. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and so, um, I was, you know, uh, one of our, one of our good friends, Miguel, uh, he had, you know, and I kind of mentioned, <laughs> I was like, I don't know if you said it jokingly or, you know, not, you know, halfway jokingly, but, uh, he was like, you're it. He pointed at me and I kind of was like sat there and I, you know, still watching the, you know, the, the, the whole thing. And I started thinking, I'm like, I think this is, this is it. Like, this is what I needed to fill, you know, not fill my cup, but pour into, pour the, into, cup. Pour into the cup. Yeah. You know, if I couldn't, you know, you know, donate like some of those donations that night, you know, one of them was a big one was like 50,000. And I think we were in the mm. back of the room, you know, with the troublemakers, they sat us back there. <laughs> and yeah. so I remember like, you know, when they, when they yelled out 50, I kind of started looking around the room and everybody, even at my table, they're like 15, and then people was like, no, five zero. Yeah. So fifty thousand dollar, you know, that was that was amazing. And so I was just thinking, like, man, I, you know, one day, one day that I want to be able to, to be able to just write checks like that, you know, mm -hmm. and, and be able to to give back to to, to you know, to causes or, or to and, causes yeah. and organizations yeah. like this to to help out. And um, and so yeah, I think I either texted you that night, maybe it wasn't that night because I think you were uh, having fun that night, but mm -hmm. um. But I think it was the next morning. I think I said I was like, I'm yeah. ser I'm serious. I think I want to I, I want to do it. Like, give me give me in touch with who I need to talk to. And mm -hmm. right away, you made that connection. And and uh, yeah, three days yeah, later. <laughs> three, yeah, three days later, here we are. So no, I, I think it's going to be great. You know, I, I'm going to you know do my do my best to with the connections that I've made. And again, I think you know I think God puts us into places where um, you know you you don't know why you're there, but he mm -hmm. has the answer and he knows what the, the end goal for you is and he, for all of us. Mm -hmm. And I think he, um, the relationships that I built, the business relationships, the friendships that I built, um, is putting me to where I, I, you know, I need to go. That's awesome, man. And, and you're going to do great. Um, I, I could see it now, right. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's going to be a, it's going to be an amazing journey. It's going to be extremely rewarding. Um, at the end of the, it, it is, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a, it's, a 
to be nominated as a as a visionary as a candidate to the visionary of the year campaign uh, for the LOS or Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. It's it's an honor just to be nominated, and I and I, you know, like I said, I shared that honor, mm. um, and um, it's 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 extremely rewarding, <clears throat> and it, it it's it's life changing, right? I. I can't, uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words because how, how meaningful it was to be, to be involved with it. Mm -hmm. And just like, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, I know that I personally, am going to be involved with it the rest of my life because mm -hmm. of the impact that it's made, uh, for me personally. And we all have our whys as to, you yeah. know, why we, why we jump in. But, um, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm thrilled for you. I know it's, I know it's going to be impactful for, for you in so many different ways. And I know you're going to absolutely kill it. So, so yeah, man. Uh, if for for those of you that um, for the listeners that don't know, uh, how do they find you? How can they find more information? Regardless of what they're looking for, you can shout mm. them all out. Mm. If you got you know multiple accounts and whatnot. Yeah, I don't, but, I'll um, be here all day if we talk about <laughs> every, everything. But no, I think just you know reaching me on my cell phone, um, you know, it goes directly to me nine one six three three five one 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 seven. You can find me on you know all social platforms. Um, if you know, yeah, just you can find me. I'm, yeah. I'm not I'm not hard to find <laughs> the lone Jedi yeah. spiffy cleaning services yeah and uh awesome man well it was a, a it was a blast sitting down with you getting to know you a oh. little bit you know we talk yeah. off camera but this is always a little bit yeah. of a different setting yeah, so no. um I appreciate it man keep doing you and uh we'll we'll talk soon I'm sure this is Thanks. amazing thank, thank you thank you bud appreciate yeah, thank you, you.